This double-decker parking example from Delft seems simple and elegant, but the details really matter. Take this double-decker parking from somewhere in North America. It looks really similar to the Dutch example, but has a few critical differences. It requires a lot of strength and dexterity to lift a bike onto the second level, especially if the bike itself is heavy. You'll see that I needed an assistant to lift a bike up onto the second level. The second level mechanism is clunky and flimsy. It doesn't slide smoothly in once a bike is loaded on. If you opt to park on the bottom level, perhaps because it's quicker or too challenging to lift your bike up, you'll find that the second level may be too low for taller bikes and your handlebars may hit it. If your bike does fit, you'll find there's not a natural place to lock it. Overall, it's not hard to see why this rack is barely used, even though nearby racks are quite full and it's located in a busy area next to a metro. If you really want more bike parking capacity, build up, like these double-decker racks under Delft Station. This is a really good example of double-decker bike parking that works for all kinds of users. So here, these rods really support the bike tire in the front. The track slows it down so it doesn't roll away. And it's spring-assisted. So I can easily put it away. As well, you can see here, the bikes are far enough apart so they don't hit handlebars. And this has a good space between the bikes below. So I'm not hitting the handlebars or the seat when I'm getting the bike down. I can easily get the bike down. Details really matter when it comes to comfortable, easy to use double-decker bike parking.